Hey everybody, Joy here and Jerry. <laughs> it is Thanksgiving morning here at our Kingston home and I asked Jerry if he would be in a video for Thanksgiving morning and he said sure. Isn't that sweet? So Jerry has something he wants to say about Thanksgiving and so I'll be quiet and let him talk. All I want to do, it's very simple, is just read you a simple scripture out of Philippians, which describes Thanksgiving and why we should be thankful for everything that we have. And I'm going to read that to you now. As soon as I get it out of here, <laughs> take me a while to find it here. Where is it, honey? Philippians? It's in Philippians 4, 6 through 7. It says, be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. That is a very true scripture. Because no matter what you go through in your life, there's going to be difficulties. It's just, it's just the way life is. But keeping your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus helps you get through all that stuff. Joe and I have gone through a lot of situations that aren't, aren't exactly pleasant. I had cancer twice in my life, and through the grace of Jesus Christ, I am alive and well today. Praise God. <laughs> We've had business problems that have come up over the last 45 years that I've been self-employed. And I won't go into all those details, but... Everybody has afflictions in their life, but just being thankful to God for what he's given you will get you through that whole mess, regardless of what it is, and we are living proof of that. We really are. So today, we just wish you all a very happy Thanksgiving and a Merry Christmas to come. And we'd like to say what we're thankful for this morning. I, of course, as you know, adore this man. I talk about him all the time. He never watches my videos, so he has no clue. So I, I'm, I watch fishing videos. <laughs> I'm number one, very, very thankful for him. And number two, very thankful for all of you. You all keep me going. Cannot tell you how much your comments mean to me. It's just so wonderful that someone cares enough to watch a video that you made and then not only that take the time to get on their computer and type something very sweet and very nice about it and make sweet wonderful comments so thank you and God bless you and I pray that you will have a wonderful Thanksgiving what are you thankful for babe there's a lot of things I'm thankful for uh, they're too numerous to mention. I'm thankful for my life, basically, because... <laughs> almost lost it. <laughs> there's two times in my life that I almost lost it. And you don't realize how important that is to you until you're about to lose it. So that's the very first thing I'm completely thankful for, is that I'm still alive today and well today, and my health is in great condition. And I owe that all to the Lord Jesus Christ. And His Word, obviously. But... Other than that, I'm just thankful for everything that I have, everything that I am, everything that we are as a couple, everything in my life I'm thankful for. And I don't know what else to be thankful for, so <laughs> anyway, that's all I've got to say about thankfulness. <laughs> I am so thankful. A lot of you that are my new subscribers, you, don't, you didn't know me back when Jerry had cancer and he was going to die. But I tell you now... When I walk in the bedroom and I see his shoes on the floor and his jeans thrown on the chair and back when he was working and he wasn't here, I would pick his shoes up off the floor and I would hug them and I would say, thank you God that these shoes are on the floor. It means my husband is still alive. So your view, like Jerry said, when you go through something like that, it really changes how you see everyday things in your life. So. Shall we let them go eat their dinner now? Yeah, some of the things that you think are really important in your life aren't that important, honestly. <laughs> you know, it's your health and life and your happiness that's important. And so, anyway, yes, we'll let them go. Okay. We'll be back. I'll be back.
I don't know when, maybe Friday. But love you all. Bye for now. Bye, guys.